Hey there LEGO fans, welcome back, Alex here. In this video, we are gonna be doing a very special review on this very interesting LEGO set. This is a minifigure tribute, set number 40504, contains a little over a thousand pieces and retails for about a hundred US dollars. Now, as many of you guys know, this is a LEGO set that you can only buy in the LEGO house, which is located in Billund, Denmark. Now, a friend of mine was actually out there on vacation and was there while this was on sale and actually picked up an extra copy for me to purchase from him at cost. So a huge thanks to Jason from Jason's Bricks in Five for allowing me to a way to actually have this very unique set in my collection. Now this of course is celebrating the 45th anniversary of the Lego minifigure that we know and love today. Now let's start with the box here. I found this very interesting because this is the only box of a Lego set that I found myself reading and that is because there's a lot of great and interesting information on this thing. On the back there's some great information and of course some awesome facts on the side of this thing as well and feel free uh, to pause the video to take a look at these things because I think that is so darn cool and really cool to see how far Lego has come with this minifigure. So why do we have Captain Redbeard here as the minifigure tribute and not another minifigure like one of the originals like the uh, policeman like in fact the policeman's right here on the box as one of the originals. Now Captain Redbeard debuted back in 1989 and he was the first minifigure that came with a printed face. Lego finally got away from the boring two dots and a smiley face. Even though they still mass produced them, it was really cool to see Lego actually giving us a variety of minifigure faces that as we know today are quite extensive. Here we have the instruction book, pretty simple. It's got a white cover. As we open this thing up, as you would expect, there's some great information about the history of the minifigure, as well as some great information about Lego house and other creations that you can uh, see there. Some information about the design designer as well, and then it's on into the build, which is done in nine sections. Now, as you guys know, I normally do time-lapse builds, but because Jason had one of these as well, we thought it'd be kind of fun to do a competitive build, kind of a race, if you will. So uh, on one of my Twitch live streams, uh, we got together and we did a live build. Our wives helped us out as well. They helped organize the pieces while we uh, built the pirate. And it was a really close race. In the very end, what happened is Jason made a small mistake in his hat and had to backtrack, and that allowed me to claim victory. A lot of you are probably wondering if this is a similar build style to Harry Potter and the Hermione Granger uh, buildable minifigures, and it is very, very similar with a few variations. Obviously, his hat comes off, he doesn't have hair built onto him, and he stands on this platform, which makes him a little bit taller. Now, there are a few unique pieces to this thing, not very many, a lot of common pieces are used in this build, actually, uh, but there's a couple of one by eight tiles here at the bottom on the base that say a minifigure tribute, Lego house, and his face and the two chin elements that have some scruff on it are unique to this set as well. As far as stickers go, there are only two stickers with this set. Uh, one is going to be the skull and crossbones on the front of his hat, as well as the map, which is applied to a six by six tile. As you would expect, there are some Easter eggs inside of our pirate, the first of which is gonna be some buried treasure. There's a couple of gold ingots that are actually inside of the base. Next, there's a two by two circular plate that is supposed to be the wristband that you would get if you were to visit the Lego house in Billund. Next one is actually inside of the pirate's head. There's a little island with a tree on it, uh, suggesting that our pirate here has treasure on his mind. The last Easter egg is the treasure map, which is a map of Denmark. The X is actually where the Lego house would be. And these uh, red dots there are a trail of where our designers are from. One's from the UK and the other from Germany. And I really like the touch of having the Black Seas Barracuda there in the upper left corner. And that is my review of a minifigure tribute, a fantastic and unique Lego set. Very happy to have this in the collection. It really is a shame though that you have to go to the Lego house or at least have a solid connection like I did to get your hands on one of these to avoid paying, of course, a, a premium <laughs> from a third party seller on Bricklink or something like that. Regardless, we have it here. Let's go ahead and find a spot for it to be displayed. We found a good spot for our pirate. He barely fits in this cubby right here. This is a relatively new display uh, that we got set up in the house down here. Uh, so he is among friends because guess what? All these pirate ships are down here too. So he is in very good company. Uh, not bad at all. And what's really cool is that in the shelf next to him, we have some Imperials. Oh boy, hopefully they get along, right? 
All right, guys. Well, let me know what you guys think of this Pirate. It's a 45-year anniversary. It makes me uh, kind of wonder what they'll do for a 50th year anniversary because that's kind of a big deal as well. I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, guys. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.